Hi everyone, it's Vicky here. We do another stretch today. Some forearms and triceps and a little bit releasing the tension from the lower back, okay? So you ready? Come to your knees if it's comfortable for you. If it's too much, you can either put some like towel or maybe yoga mat, whatever soft fabric you have underneath. And from behind, please tuck your toes under so you can sit a little bit higher on your knees and on your heels. If it's too much, you can just release. But try to do that from time to time and then just rest in between, okay? From here, come forward with your hands, stretch your elbows all the way down. And see if you can bring your forehead to the floor. Bring your palms and then switch the sides so they can look to the sky. And then see if you can bring the palms together over your head and to the back of your neck. Is this comfortable for you? Try to see if you can hold the shoulder blades and then just bring the elbows forward a little bit deeper if you can and stay. Breathe deeply, inhale, and then exhale. And if it's okay with you, you can just leave the hands together as a prayer position at the back. If you want, you can switch and then just sit a little bit lower on your heels or come back to your tucked toes under. Take right hand up, inhaling. Bring with your left arm the elbow bending a little bit and then see if you can bring the hand just in between your shoulder blades. Tuck the belly in and sitting backwards, grounding, but be tall. You can close your eyes and breathe here, or just bring your left arm and then just bend the elbow, trying to bring both hands together, collapsing or holding something that you can just stay in there and breathe. Bring the head slightly up. Look at the horizon or just close the eyes, whatever feels really comfortable for you today. When it's enough, you can release, bow the head, and then we switch. Bringing the left arm up, inhaling, and bringing with your right the left elbow and bending, bringing the palm in between your shoulder blades, and then bring the right elbow and bending, bringing both hands together, holding, or just stay there, either closing the eyes, looking at far point at the horizon, bringing the belly in, but the head back, feeling the stretch, and then just release. We switch the sitting position with our legs, either crossed legs or just something that is really comfortable for you. It might be lotus. And it's called Garudasana. We'll take the right arm above the left, crossing the forearms, bringing the palms together and bringing them up high to the sky so that the elbows will be really head height above the shoulders. If it's too much, just bring them down to your chest, bow your head to your hands and stay here. Either way, you will feel the stretch and releasing the tension from your shoulder girdle and then slowly switch the sides. We're bringing the left above the right, and then doing the same, bringing them higher to the sky, either bringing them down to your chest, bringing the head down, breathe. And then release slowly. Are you ready for standing? Okay. Take your feet, hips uh, distance apart. How it feels to stand here? If it's okay, bring your palms holding the different and opposite elbows, and then try to bend the knees and slowly come to folded position. If it's too much, you can hold the floor and see if you can release the head down, still holding the floor. 
if it's really okay, go back to holding the elbows. Stay here, release the head. See that the back of your neck is really released down. You can either shake the head a little bit from side to side, and then slowly start to feel how you release the tension from your sacrum into the lower back and all the way down to the crown of the head. So we're coming here or staying here, and then we start to switch from side to side, roll the pelvis from the left to the right, and from the right to the left. If it's okay, try to catch the outer heels behind and then stay here. If it's too much, bring the head a little bit slightly forward. And then stay here with bended knees, bring the chest to the thighs and release down and deeper with each inhalation and each exhalation. See how deep and really, really low you can reach. And then after a little bit, inhaling straight the legs all the way, halfway, so that the chest will be really parallel to the floor. And then bring the left palm in between, just below the heart. And then the right hand can go really on to the sacrum. If it's okay, try to twist to the right side. And you can stay here, this is enough. Just try to see that you're not sinking into the left groin and just stay here. Engage the thighs, ignite the feet, and look to the right. And then slowly exhale, bending the knees, and switch sides. Right palm on the floor, left on the sacrum. And then once you're ready, push the floor away and look to the left side. Inhaling, exhaling deeply. And then once finished, release down again, either holding the elbows, releasing the head down, or maybe just holding the floor and this is fine. As long as the head is really low and the sacrum released, this is what we're, we want to reach and achieve in this practice. And then slowly come up. And then inhale all the way to the standing. You can lay down and rest in Shavasana. Thanks for watching.